Hi there, this is Billy. Today I want to show you how to make this AM crystal radio with a toroid coil. This is the toroid coil. There are some special materials called R40C1 that is manufactured in China that can create very high quality toroid coil with high kill factor as high as 1000. One of the hobbyists in US is also putting this on sale in eBay. I've put the link in the description. You can check it out. Start with the small 31 mm ring, and then a bigger 37 mm ring, and also the biggest 45 mm ring. Some hobbyists have created a 45 mm turret ring using this wire and this type of R40C1 material with a Q factor measured exceeding 1600 which is very high. This is the Q factor measurement 1288 from a R40C1 37mm. This is considered to be a very high Q factor among the coils. The Q meter in the diagram is one of the new invention by the China crystal radio hobbyists. Yeah, they use microcontrollers to calculate the Q factor. I'll make a video to introduce this Q meter once I finish testing my own. To make a coil out of ferret turret, first we need to wrap it with this type of silicon tape. This is used in water pipes to uh, avoid leakage. So the material has low loss for wireless signal. So it's good to wrap it around the turret. The reason why we want to wrap it around the turret is to avoid any short circuit because the ferret material is conducting. So when some of the wires accidentally got pulled and, uh, and the paint got lo loosened, they will be connecting and short circuiting. So to avoid that, we want to wrap it around first. Secondly, this will increase the Q factor because winding the thread directly on the ferret is known to reduce the Q factor. You must separate it by a layer. So we'll wrap the silicon tape over this ferret turret twice. That means one layer and then a second layer. We are going to use the list wire that have 60 threads, each measure 0.04 mm. Pick a tiny silicon string out of the silicon tape by just rubbing it into a long thread. And then we'll put it on top so we can use it to tie the coils, individual turns together so it won't be loosened. When we are about to finish the last few turns, we will insert the silicon thread made of silicon tapes onto the uh, turns and then use the turn to secure the thread. And then when we come to the last turn, we'll use the thread, uh, the tiny thread to tie the turns together so it won't be loosened. Then we st start to run the thread in and out of the ring. The trick is you do an approximate measurement of the total length of the thread required. And then you pull out half of the length of the thread you need and start wiring from there. So that, that way you won't need to pull the entire length of the thread in and out of the ring. You just pull half the length. And then when you finish that, you can continue on this other side to wind the other half of the length of the thread. The total number of turns you need depends on the material. There's a term called magnetic permeability. So depending on that, um, if it's slower, like 40 or below, you need more turns. If it's higher, like 1000, you need less turn. So it totally depends on the ferret material. For example, for the R40C1, you will need about 80 turns to make enough inductance for the AM broadcast range. 
it will be much easier if you got an LC meter. Just measure the inductance when you think you have run sufficient turns. For our case, matching with a 560 PF variable capacitor, 160 micro Henry is enough. Then we'll use the marker to paint the thread as red for the hot, blue for the ground, and then uh, no color for the cap. We are using the same universal 3DQ crystal radio module as our basis circuit. So we we'll just connect it to the terminal that we created uh, when we create the back loop AM radio. So you can go back to that video to check how we make this. We will just connect the blue to blue, red to red and no color to no color. Finally, we connect the antenna and the ground. The ground is the same as the blue uh, in the connector, and the antenna will be taken as the tap of the coil. So look at this circuit diagram. Because I don't want to pull an antenna and a ground, so I just make use of my big loop coil as the antenna. Just hang that close to the window, then I just connect the antenna and ground input of my crystal radio to the both end of the big loop. And then let's hear the result. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please click subscribe. Please send it to your friends to subscribe too.